Good. So you can take that. Are we doing this for me? I drew a card on the Very good. That's one set. Julie, Chris Wilder. Are you pretty sure? How many? Bunch of dirt. It wasn't anything like like a curb or anything, but I just overreacted, and um, I made a sharp right turn, um, and you know, trying to like get out of there, but you know, it was way too much, way overreact, reacted to the situation. I ended up going off road. I hit a hill, which um, the impact um, ended up sending my car um, over, and it rolled and rolled, and at the end, I was ejected from the back windshield, oh. and I was. And these cells are just basically like a blank slate, and they can be anything. They can do anything. They can be whatever you want them to be. And so in this case, for me, they are going to be, uh, you know, for uh, spinal cells. And so the way it was was that they basically cut me open at the the the, uh, the lower lowest side of the injury. So if I'm a T3, T4, I guess they would do it under a T T4 or T5. And basically opened me up, and um, it's really quick. It's just uh, a little injection. It's two million cells, and they injected really quick, and basically sewed me back up. It's it's very simple, but of course, you know, the process of opening uh, the body up is complicated, going through all the skin and the muscle and the bones. But the actual uh, injection itself is very quick. It's very delicate, and uh, that's about it. But when it was um, explained to me that you know I. I could qualify and I could do this. Uh, you know, it wasn't obviously explained to me as you're gonna get this and you're gonna walk. It was explained to me as this is phase one research and we just want to see if it's fake, if it's uh, I'm sorry, if it's uh, safe and uh, you know you could you know, contribute to uh, the whole research and for you it could do you know good things that could you know bring back sensation that perhaps wouldn't have come back because with my surgery. Um, being a T3, T4, a pretty high um, complete sur um, injury, it's, you know, they told me that if there's an 80% chance that I won't gain anything back, there's a 20% chance that I will. So, you know, it's, it's a small percentage and I was hoping that, for me, I was hoping that getting the surgery done, having the stem cells injected would, you know, potentially take me to that 20% instead of, you know, maybe being in the 80% that doesn't improve. So for me, it was just improving, and still is. I still, and now I, I suddenly, I, I feel passion. I feel like, uh, for once, I feel like I, uh, there's meaning in my life, and I, I have a purpose that I have to fulfill. Um, I really do. And, um, you know, I say everything happens for a reason. I feel like perhaps this is the reason that, um, you know, this awful thing happened to me, but, you know, I have to follow up on the stem cell stuff. I have to be an advocate. I want to be hands-on one day. I want to study this, and I want to go to school for this, and I want to one day be the person, you know, involved in developing stem cells and developing the science and, uh, you know, touching people's lives. So that's my goal. That's my passion now.